Hello, hello, my friends. How are we doing today? <clears throat> Hopefully you guys are all doing well. It is, of course, Wednesday evening. Happy hump day for those that are uh, part of the hardcore adulting working group. <sighs> I get more water in me. Uh, looks like everything is pulling up just fine. I apologize for being a little later than intended. I had to make a quick stop to uh, to the grocery store, pick up some pop for work, and uh, need to go pick up water in the morning too if I can pull that off. Got food in, had to deal with a power outage, so uh, yeah, a few minutes late, but we're here. We are ready to go. A little bit of comfy Minecrafting times. We have some uh, exploration to do underground around our uh, guardian farm. <clears throat> And of course, it has been a little bit since we've been here. I have played, of course, off stream. Plenty of things to do that uh, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you would find to be boring. Let's take a look at our quests. So oh, I get to collect that. Anything else? Uh, no, but I need to place some healers. I need. It's a big thing. To place how many? Three. Three healers. I think we can pull that off. What's in the store? Let's take a gander. Um, is there anything? We'll get the monk up there. Buy some archer scrolls just because. <clears throat> get it a little bit closer to level 30 so we can complete that one. Wait, how much time? Six minutes it refreshes. That's cool. I'll have to try to remember to look uh, in between campaigns. But <clears throat> we are starting our battle with the boss, so I'm going to throw in my uh, vampire, because for everyone that it kills, it recovers health, so there we go. Uh, just making sure everything else is kosher. <clears throat> I think I have an overlap here. Let me scooch this just a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> Locked back in place. Get that out of the way. Now, for those that uh, have maybe kept up with me on Discord or Twitter, there was an issue upgrading the world to 1.26, then backwards. Apparently, it erases your personal inventory, your ender chest, and any chests in the loaded chunks you were at. So, yeah. There were issues. Give it a second to load. Okay. As you can see, we are standing upon the item sorter. I had to build it relatively quickly because... Um, the single chest that we had sitting here at one point, there we go, I think we're solid. Um, the items were rolling in so fast that the single hopper just couldn't keep up and things were piling up and despawning. I have eliminated the need for the water pushing items here and in, simply by putting a slab at this location. It keeps items from potentially bouncing in there that I've noticed so far. It has run a great many hours, and uh, so far I've not noticed any issues crop up with items being stuck. You'll also notice that underwater, we now lose air bubbles. I have dismantled the, uh, the conduit. Took a second there to remember what it was called. Uh, what else did we do off screen? Or, yeah, off stream. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, there's glass wall underneath where the kill chamber's at. I drained it. That was a chore, but we got to, especially in here, this part just absolutely was terrible. Too wide. But we got it accomplished. It's done on all three sections, so now guardians can only spawn inside the bubble columns. One second. I think I got my volume turned down a little bit. I do. There we go. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, what else? So I haven't got any labeling done yet, but this section here is where the shards all go. And we've been running it for quite a while now. So we're up to this point in shards. Crystal-wise, we are filling up to this one. There, there was always a large disparity between shards and crystals. You'll always get, like, three times the shards you will of crystals. So, the only big issue is you gotta, every once in a while, make blocks instead of having sea lanterns. But it's not a big deal. And, of course, the fishes. There's a never-ending amount of fishes. Uh, at some point soon, I wish to bring some villagers here. Probably gonna build two, or bring two over. And, um... From there, it's just we're going to build a quick farm and populate, then maybe see about building an iron farm that runs while we're out here. You know, might as well have it going. We could always use iron. A never-ending amount, as it were. Now, this particular aspect of the farm, the ink sacks, they don't seem to spawn well since I've emptied out the... Uh, underneath where the kill chambers are at so for those that want to design a guardian farm similar to this please keep that in mind if you're wanting ink sacks out of the farm probably should leave this area alone Let's see was it here yeah and yeah it took a bit of time Thank God you can go into the nether and very easily, very rapidly uh, dry out your sponges. Now, there's a lot of blocks, as you can see in here, and I'm considering in my board time going through and just removing all the innards of this just to have free blocks. Not necessarily an important thing to do. But it might make navigating in here a little easier because uh, TI Freak gets lost real quick. There's just so many places to go. Now, earlier I made mention get the uh, night time to go away that there was an issue Ooh, hey. lots of items oh I can't rest here anymore that's okay um actually I don't think I ever did try to rest here the guardians will keep you from doing so but uh yeah there was an issue where I went forward and mobs were no, were no longer dropping items. And I found out a little too late that, that was because of the resource packs I was operating with. Big problem. And uh, so I went backwards, not realizing that doing so without making sure I had a solid backup, which I did not, sadly, would result in the loss of all inventory items, everything inside your ender chest, and all the chests that was loaded up in this area. That really, really sucked. It also eliminated my armor, my wings, everything. So after I cooled down a bit, I finally got around to... Uh... Oh, yeah, I was going to do the sleep. I uh, went ahead and fixed it via uh, b -b 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 creative mode because honestly that wasn't fair I I'm not going to work my way out and try to get more shulker shells and more elytra that's just, I mean I will eventually maybe but I, I there was no need for me to have to deal with that but um, got elytra, shulker shells I just filled it partially uh, there was some random stuff, dragon egg etc that we had I gave myself that, and then, of course, replenished the shulker boxes, I got the materials back that I had constructed, I got sponges back, 
you know, it seemed like it was a fair thing for me to do. Hopefully you guys agree as well. If not, well, I'm still keeping it as is. But as you can see, the stream of items coming in from the farm is constant. I mean, it's just a never-ending, always flowing stream of stuff going up there and being sorted. So that part makes me happy. However, there is the small aspect of there being cave systems, and more particularly, there's a mine shaft system down below, and I want to explore it. I also want to get it lit up so there's less chance of mobs spawning in the area and, uh, you know, all the fun stuff that goes along with that. Plus, it's a mineshaft system. There could be treasures. We need to go find out. So first things first, we're going to run back to base, pick up some uh, more torches, grab some food, take a look at things around there. Not a lot's changed. Um, really the only thing, if you haven't been, or hadn't been around, like, the previous one or two streams, you would have not seen the, uh, stone generator we built. I think that's it, honestly. I have ultimately decided that this build is going to come down. We will probably replace it with a farm. Um, item storage is going to be so, so much bigger than this. I need to finish getting my list together. I haven't completed that yet. Um, but there's just so much stuff to store and deal with that I'm, I'm going to build a big, huge massive item sorter does it all for us automatically so we don't have to think about it or worry about where stuff goes you can just do whatever it wants let's get this next batch of kelp going to be smelted oh I guess we need to do this real quick a little bit of town maintenance as it were so what is everybody up to on this wonderful Wednesday evening uh, 23 so we'll do four stacks three four hopefully that puts it where it needs to go No midnight, I was not talking to you, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> mm. So, originally we was doing this because we needed an infinite source of fuel. We really don't need that since I have buckets upon buckets of lava, which I think is not over here, one of these. If not, I've lost them. No, there it is, okay. Let's say, if not, it was in the ender chest and I've lost it and I'll have to regen it myself, but... We can uh, easily build an infinite lava generator. Did I empty that, or did it get emptied? Hmm. I thought I had a bunch of... Ah, there it is. Holy cow. Okay, or holy chicken. <clears throat> Uh, we'll 
we'll just toss that in here. Need the stretchies. Okay, actually, we can just dump those. Uh, doing that will give us, what, four stacks? Torch! Alright. So we got water, we got food, we got rockets that we probably will not need. Okay. I think we've got the most important aspects of going on an adventure, don't you guys? Hello, Moo! How are you doing, friend? How is your Wednesday treating you? Ooh, don't bust the wrong way, T.I. Ah, sleepy. Here, but not fully yet. Doing lots of cleaning. Ooh, cleaning's fun sometimes. Cleaning is not necessarily fun, but it is important. Oh, and uh, it's not set in stone yet, but um, there's a good chance that I'll be moving in the next couple of months, which is going to be great. I'm, I'm hoping things pull through like they, they're supposed to, that I've been told they're going to, because I will be inheriting a, a home that will... Well, not necessarily inheriting. I will be getting access to a home. Moving? Yes, moving. Um, pending things fall through the way they need to. But it's a home that's been in the family since 1980-something. Which, I mean, yeah, it's not a long, long time, but it's long enough. It was my great-grandmother's home. And, uh... So if things work out, I will, uh... Getting out of the apartment. Have a three bedroom house all to my lonesome with a cat. It'll be fun. Alright. See where we can go here. Huh, right from the get-go. I, I am actually really excited for it, though. It will be nice to have my own domain. I will also have access to my own garage. The downside is I will have that much more area that I'll need to clean up all the time. <laughs> Gotta grab this. We want all the free, especially if we're gonna be moving. Um, play uh, our villagers. I don't want to have to spend any. Any iron on rails? We we're, we got tons of it here. Oh, I'll put us right outside. Okay. Guess it wasn't down as far as I thought we were. Now, one thing that I am aware of... Ooh, we need coal. 
And I will take all of this I can get. Wait. I was going to say something and now I forgot. Squirrel! But yes, when, once I get around to moving, there's going to hit a point where... Obviously, I won't be as available to stream for a little bit. I will have to figure out a new schedule for myself, mostly because home ownership is going to require changes. I mean, there's the mowing of yards and dealing with all the trimming and all that fun jazz that, uh, yeah, not so much fun, but part of it. I'm beginning to wonder, did we tie up the uh, mob cap already? I mean, they should have died to the campfire, so why are we not seeing anything down here? Alright, more rails. Activator rails. I will take a name tag so fast you just don't even know. This is a freaking huge vein of iron. And even if I have an automatic iron farm, I will always try to gather resources. Especially in a single player world where there's no body I can buy them from. That's also farming and stuff. saw green. Okay. That was exciting. Oh, another one. big going on here. Just realized I did not clear the area very well. <clears throat> I will fall down there here in a second. Let me grab that one. Here. It'll be safer just to do this. Get me wrong, I just don't want creepers to pop in. Don't necessarily need this, but uh, golden apple. We can toss in some junk that we don't need right now. Ooh, redstone, I will take. <gasps> An enchanted golden apple. We don't really have much in the way of those. I will happily make that mine. Andesite, not enough andesite or cobblestone to keep in my pocket right now. 
I have dripstone. I'm not sure really why I picked that up earlier, but it can be there. Nope, nope, nope. I want those. Okay, we're going to leave that there for now. Um, F3, F2, F3. Okay. Name tag. <laughs> oh, definitely needed some comfy Minecrafting times. I'm not going to lie, when that whole issue with the world happened and I thought I was going to lose my world because of it, I was pretty upset. I'm glad I was able to calm down over it, though. Though I, I do need to go and investigate... Hey, another golden apple. Power rails are great. We want glow berries for sure. Um, wow, this place just keeps going. I was going to be pretty upset with losing all our progress. I mean, obviously anybody would. It's down here. Uh, not a lot. I definitely want to grab this. this out. Kinda want to take it with me, but... I don't necessarily really need it. Been here. Nice. Okay, so that brought us around. We've got all kinds of andesite and granite and stuff in here. I'm definitely eyeballing that for the future. I considered building a uh, simpler farm tonight. Maybe something along the lines of uh, smaller... Um, I'll remember. Cactus farm. I thought maybe because we don't have one of those going for us yet, that would be a good idea. All of it. Oh, hey. This thing just goes everywhere. And I'm here for it. I love when there's just massive cave systems to explore. To me, this is one of the best things in Minecraft you can do. Just explore. Find resources and explore. Uh, we already cleared it. Surprised we didn't grab the rails. Okay. Um, going up.
not a fan of spooters. Inventory looking. May plant the diorite somewhere just so it doesn't have to despawn. Something I can come back for later. Hmm, more of those. You can always use extra torches. Put those in there. Here, let's get rid of this stuff. Oh, I mean, yes, we have shulker boxes. We could put some of it away. But why would we do that? That don't make no sense. That doesn't sound very T.I. Freak-like. Boys, it caught me off guard seeing sunflowers down here. This is not exactly a sunny place. Flickering. I haven't I haven't been streaming long enough for you to flicker. As in don't flicker, please. Surprised when I saw your name on a calculator forum, you still collect are you talking collecting calculators? Because yes, I still collect them. Really haven't been able to much because of, uh, you know, money's harder to come by these days, but I've been trying to get back into programming things while trying to maintain some aspect of growing my channel. But how are you doing today? Nice to see you in here, Fig, if I can call you that. Caught on fire. I'm not worried about that up there. Ah, there you guys are. Okay. Here, I can reach you from here if y'all cooperate. This thing just doesn't end. Lost well, TI-85 replaced with a Voyager 200. Nice. Voyager 200 is one of those calculators that's still on my to-get list. It is pretty much a grail item. Mostly because trying to find one with a good working screen is so frigging difficult. And the ones that do work, they want a butt-ton of money for them. I actually had a different collection and lost a good portion of it once upon a time. And, uh... <clears throat> I mean, I have quite a few calculators again. Just not the original OG collection that I once upon a time had. Nice. Happy to see a geode.
Hmm. Okay. Back into where we were working, I think. Anything hiding here? Don't look like it. No! Come back! Oh, yes! Those I will take! Happily so. him that would have been quaint no I uh, I keep my 84 plus CEs I, I use them quite a lot I also have a couple of zero um, graphing calculators which is a new brand up and coming need to look and investigate whether they've managed to make any updates on their software lately to test But I take an 84 plus CE pretty much everywhere I go. Kaboom. That was helpful. Okay. There's just a lot going on to unpack here. And we just keep getting deeper and deeper into the cave systems. Alright, what can I toss? I don't need rotten flesh. At all, we're good, we're solid, we have so much of that we can gain access to that it's ridiculous. I almost fired up Apex Legends to play tonight. I really gave some serious thought to it, simply because we haven't done it in a while, and I'm getting that FPS itch again, which I don't ever seem to learn because I always end up failing. Okay, nothing going on up there. We're good here. Hey, we can get out this way. Um. Oh, spider eyes. Those can go away. Scared the crap out of me. Stuff happened. Um, kind of want to see where this will take us to. Oh, we cannot go out this way. Not over this direction. Does this lead out? Okay, well that thought's gone now. <laughs> okay, make sure nothing spawns in there. I was really hoping that the light source up here would take us out, but... Oh, okay. Work with this. We got more area to light up. I can live with that. part of what we're doing in our mission today uh, for those just joining we are in a process of trying to light up the areas underneath and around our guardian farm simply so we can get um, more mob spawning in the farm 
I will probably build some kind of tower going upwards from the base of the farm to uh, make it to where things can only spawn in our area. I haven't really decided on a design for said um, tower thing yet. We'll get there. We have time. It's our world. There's no server admins threatening to shut it down and restart it. <clears throat> We are out of torches again. Oh. Uh, what can I get rid of? Uh, we'll get rid of the granite for now. Old habits tend to die hard. I used to play uh, version 1.8. And that was before shulkers and all that great and glorious stuff. So I just kind of load up on stuff a lot. Okay, well that didn't take us where I thought we wanted to go, so let's head back down. it might be time to clean the pockets, huh? I would, except I forgot a very important detail. Um, hmm. I forgot to bring my uh, ender chest with me. <laughs> Way to go, T.I. So now we're just going to kind of actively go up if we can. That is not the uppy way. Just realized we are... Need to get that one going. Back to map. Okay, we beat the boss. We got the Barbarian Scrolls. We got a Needle Warrior skin. Very nice. We're starting a new map. For those wanting to join in, it should pop up with a link for you to join our map. Or exclamation SR will get you in on the battle. Uh, we're going to throw in the Chicken Tank. Because that seems like a good one to use. Since I don't know if we're going to have any friends playing... Can't really use the healer, so. You want a water slide? I saw that. Okay, we'll go ahead and scarf up some of this. Still can't believe I forgot the uh, ever so important ender chest. Let's make sure we grab one when we get back up there. Thirty, so we can easily absorb all these here. You may say, "Ti, you have access to infinite lava. You have access to infinite kelp blocks. Why for are you doing this?" And I say unto you, kelp blocks and lava does not make good torches. <laughs> 4, 64, 64. Did I pick up... Oh, no, there's 17. Okay. Let's see. Are we full full on those? Can I grab a few more? Uh, I can pick up a few more of these guys. Oh. Hang on one second. I had a receipt fall. Oh, 
Got to have that receipt for reimbursement purposes tomorrow. I ain't buying pot for the store to make profits off of. It's my money. Okay, can you stop going down at weird angles? the right direction. <sighs> Scared the shit out of me. I thought there was a creeper blowing up. you there. Is this how we get out? Hey! Awesome sauce! Now, I heard them attacking some squid while we were down there. The number has increased, so it is possible squid will spawn. That's pretty awesome. We have not gotten any more fishes to spawn in there and be taken by the kill chamber. It's fine. We're, we're not too concerned about that. Um, let me throw... That in there. Oh, I know what I didn't give myself. There should be, like, 12 or 13 ender chests there. Damn. these in with the rest of the ink sacks. That way they'll be somewhat safe and in a location where they belong, which will be kind of a surprising thing, especially for me. So yeah, um, as I was saying earlier, I'm contemplating building like a nice big tower. Um... Not really sure yet on the design. I want it to be cool. I might make a giant sword that you uh, use water to go up and down in. I think that could be fun. I need to figure out what the optimum height is to get to. So I'm above the farm, so more or less only things in the farm spawn without spawning too much out into the ocean. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I need to be, like, 64 blocks up, uh, or, you know, 128. Man, what a stream of stuff. Which, I mean, we just lit up a bunch of caves, so that means there should be less and less mobs spawning down in there. Whether they're doing anything or not is irrelevant. They were spawning, so they were possibly taking up mob cap. Now, um, let me go throw this in the box. I'm, I'm a little upset I forgot to give myself those. I'll have to do that later. I don't want to bother you guys with watching me cheat those back in. Now, we can throw in this. Let's see if I can... Nope, I don't want to get stuff here. 
We'll do it this way. I can throw in one of these. You can see it go all the way in. Now, what I decided to do was to force, or just have the items drop off onto the water, which will immediately push them right back up because it's all nothing but bubble columns, right? And then once it reaches the top, the, uh, see, there it goes again. Once it reaches the top of the uh, water sources there, it will just immediately pop up and be pushed off into the kill chamber area where the uh, items will get picked up by the hoppers and sent back around again. I was going to try and do something fancier with more waterways and stuff, and then I realized this is like the simplest solution. And every time it picks up by the, or the items get picked up by a hopper, there it goes again, it restarts the five minute countdown before it despawns. At least I think it does. Try not to, you know, comment out my ass as it were, but I'm pretty sure it does. Just hang out here, grab my torch back. And there you have that. And as you see, I can I uh, brought in some jungle trees to cycle while I was doing other things and uh, stocked up on enough lumber so I could build chests because, well... We needed lumber for chests. We needed lumber for our, the hoppers. And I think that was it. Yeah, we just needed lumber for chests and hoppers. It worked out well. Um, let me write down the fact that I need to give myself ender chests. because, of course, that was a game malfunction. There we go. I'll be slightly, very, ever so slightly less likely to forget. Alright, so, anyway, that was a ball of fun. I'm not really 100% certain where I want to build... The, uh, dude, what are you doing? You're not allowed to have my stuff. Go away. I want to build a cactus farm, as I said earlier. Something simple and easy and... Um, I think I will set it up to, uh... Push items off towards a... Uh, I'm gonna come up with a word. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. Hello, Beck! How the heck are you? How's life treating you? Oh, I forgot, I wanted to grab some building materials here. Now that I have access to all this stuff... Ooh, water... or ice. Need to take that back. Oh, good, been a while. How have you been? I uh, live in the scream. I mean dream. Of being a... Uh, Adults. It, it kind of sucks. <laughs> and I can't complain too much. I got a good job. I do my job as well as I can. I get all the work done necessary. Grab these things here. Grab that. I keep trying really hard to get myself back into calculator programming. It's just at the end of every workday, I am so tired. Or I'm trying desperately to build up my audience. I mean, it's, it's a struggle. There's a lot of people out there streaming. A lot of opportunity for everybody, you know, to go find themselves their own streamer. Now I can't get a job, small town, like less than a thousand. Ouch. That's, that's pretty rough. Twenty-eight 
20 businesses total. Yeah, that doesn't leave you a whole heck of a lot of uh, options. Hey, there's more torches. And more of my shovels that I had to get. I'm just gonna get all this stuff back. Get it back, back out. Um, that. Another box. In my area, I think there's plenty of jobs. It's more that it's kind of difficult to get into places because people have learned how to work on a lesser staffing and they've been making it work. And there are some inst instances where people don't want to work that we found. Mostly those that managed to uh, get themselves free money from the government during COVID. And they liked that, and now they just don't work. They don't want to. They don't have a bachelor. Most tech employers won't even look at you if you don't. It's true. For some silly reason, they think you need that education. all this back in here and reduce this down to uh, just the one chest. No reason to have all this other stuff in here right now. I'm going to take the redstone home with me though. That could be important. Um, chests will take. I don't need those. Sticks. No amount of literal operating system in the portfolio. Oops. two up. We'll go back. Still frustrated by my lack of ender chests. Darn you past TI. Why didn't you think of that? Speaking of how far? Not filling that one up yet. Are we filling any of these others up? I must know. Oh, okay. We are. <clears throat> so let's fill in the bottom one there. I haven't 100% decided on how I'm going to decorate the middle of this yet. Been doing too much count programming, pretty much just BOS when I do. Yeah, it's fair. I have written down numerous ideas that I want to implement for an RPG. I have trying, I have been trying to uh, figuring out sprites. I think that's what I was working on at one point. I was actually going to build my own spriting program specific to what I needed. And, uh, mostly just kind of have that little warm-up program that would allow me to get back into it. Because if you work with a spriting program, then you understand spriting better, which means building the game is going to work better and on calc? Yes. I've always had a love for programming directly to the calculator. It works better for me. I can type so much faster on the calculator. It's ridiculous. to attempt porting ice to BOS. Could be fun. Could be a nice adventure. Uh, we're just going to drop these here. Until I can figure out what I'm going to actually do with any of them.
heck of an endeavor. Anything programming is anymore, it seems like. Lack of RAM files. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit out of the loop. So... Not 100% certain what BOS actually is, what it's doing, etc. <clears throat> Here, I'm going to go ahead and empty you out. We'll put all the irons away. It's an operating system. For which lineup of calculators? Just curious. Eighty four plus C. Very nice. I happen to keep two of those calculators on me while I'm at work. I don't know why there's two of them, but I have them. Only prior to revision M. Yep. Well, we can clean out this box once I figure out what I'm doing with my here. We will put all of our redstone stuff, redstone tech, in that box. I can go get rid of the glass. I can get rid of the chests. I desperately want and need my automatic sorting system. I need to make that happen. I need to stop goofing off and actually get that organized. Decide on a plan and build it. Glass ship made it impossible to flash custom OSs without desoldering. Yeah, Texas Instruments did a number of things that made uh, calculators less amazing. Still cool things to have, but still, just, why? Why, why work so hard to fight the people that made your platform so appealing in the first place? Like, if it was not for the enthusiasts of my era and the ones a few years older than me, Texas Instrument Calculators would just be there. I, I thought I heard a drowned. Oh, I know. Don't I know that all too well? Wait a minute. Oh, I did hear a drowned. He can't get through the tracks. That's funny. All that in there. We got an empty shulker. Boing, boing. Oh, he can't get here because <laughs> that's great. Funny enough, considering to have FOSS replacements for both OS and boot code, uh, people will be able to ship games via ROM image and have it just working. There you go. So we're getting stuff put away. That is a good day. No, I'm curious. Did I happen to remember to put it in here, maybe? I did not. Wait, did I forget? Ah, dang it, there's more stuff. Since the emulator is open source and has a minimum build option. Not gonna lie, I don't use uh, CEMU very much. I have it installed on my laptop, so once I get around to actually utilizing it, it'll be nice, but. Let's put away. And we'll just toss them all up in here. We got 
one over there hiding. Got one over here that's propped up. Get over there. The drowned amused me slightly. Come on. You can get stuck in the boat. I believe in you. Ah, ha, ha, that's funny. Nice. <laughs> well, I can use the good ones. <laughs> I don't know why we're keeping them, but why not, right? Though only one of them will stay, so hang on. Can I, can I get you to hold something? <laughs> nice. Can I get it all? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got sandstone, that sandstone, that sandstone, let's go. Okay, so I need to figure out where I'm going to put a small cactus farm. Typically we will do a cactus farm that is five by five of cactus. A single layer is perfectly fine. We don't need to go crazy with it. Because again, it is just me. I, I still contemplate beefing this up and adding two or three more layers to it. Because it does take quite a while to fill up. But, go ahead and turn those into blocks. And then we'll put the rest of those down here. It's partially why I went ahead and started scarfing up all of the iron ore that I could find. Because, well, let's just face it, there's a never-ending need for iron. I hate this blasted thing. Wait. How did it end up with so much more? Next version of this is going to use carts. I am so annoyed. It didn't work properly on the server. It doesn't work properly here. I've double and triple checked against the video and the schematics, and I'm over it. I'm done with it. The hopper base system just does not work. Okay. So, where is my cactus? My cactus, oh cactus. There it is. Okay, so. Wait, I can zoom. I have the capability of zoomies. Happy to hear, happy to hear. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen by thirteen. 
I was debating how I wanted to freak you out when I jumped on, decided to go different. Well, that, that certainly worked. Okay, so we need a 13 by 13 area to build this particular farm. Could have went with the old standby, the, the Minecraft standby. <laughs> ah, eh, hello? What? Hello, hello, Shiro friend. How are you doing? Um... Get that, get that read. No, no, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Ah. <laughs> How are you doing, friend? How was stream? What were you playing? Like a dragon infinite wealth? Ooh, what is that? How be you? I be tired. It's been, it's been a rough couple of weeks at work. Lots and lots of stuff going on. But how be you? It's been a little while since we've had a chance to chat. And thank you so much for bringing your uh, community along with you. I'm TI Freak. Sorry, I'm a little rusty at this because we don't see rage too often. Um, I play a little bit of everything between Minecraft RPGs, uh, Genshin, which would be an MMORPG, but whatever. Uh, cute little games, whatever it is. Whatever tugs at the fancy of the heart, we play it here. RPG about a schizophrenic who ends up ass naked in Hawaii. <laughs> That is certainly a thing. Because <laughs> that sums it up. Hey, hey, that works. Sounds like an interesting game. Could be like, uh, what was that? Black Ops 2, where you think you're fighting the bad guys, end up being the bad guys, and that was a little bit of a mind screw there. But welcome, friends, uh, for those that need to go and uh, use the bathroom, get up, get a drink, get snacks, whatever it is. Please feel free to do that uh, after stream care that you guys need to do. Thank you so much, Shiro, for trusting your community with me. It is so nice to see you all. Uh, we're just doing a little bit of a comfy Minecraft stream. We was exploring a bit of uh, the mineshaft system, trying to clear up and get our farms to be more optimal. He hallucinates being a hero in battle, so the thugs change into typical villains, which is pretty funny. Nice. Aw, thank you, friend. But, uh, yeah. Oh, we are ready for our next Stream Raiders battle. For those that don't know about Stream Raiders, it's a little side gig that, uh, your chatters can play and join in and help you beat up enemies and win prizes and skins and fun stuff like that. It's just kind of a nice little side thing that everybody can enjoy and just do their thing, get away from the noise of the iron farm. But uh, we are currently playing on my single player world, uh, which is generally a lot different than what we would be seeing in terms of a uh, server world where we can play with people, get items from others, etc. This is one I started when Minecraft was at 1.17, and I just kind of play along, gradually do my own thing, you know, trying to be as uh, patient with it as possible. I, I have screwed up a few things here and there, but we are making things work. And, uh, yeah, we just taking our time on a world that's never going to fully change. We're just going to keep adding new layers to it and uh, make things as we feel the need to. Let me get the Stream Raiders battle to the next level there. Congratulations, River Eye. Boom. I will have to try and go visit your... Uh, your VOD of the year gameplay of that, Shiro, because that game sounds quite interesting. And there we go. New Stream Raiders map up to play. 
feel free to throw down your units. Uh, again, the game is free to play for anybody. You can join in with your Twitch information, and uh, yeah. Then we'll go back to the Minecraft, uh, which was what? This one? Haha, <laughs> I remembered. But anyway, we were deciding how we was going to build a... Uh, da, da, da. Wow, my brain is definitely dying here. Cactus farm. Uh, just tested over in the desert how big of an area I'm going to need, which is a 13 by 13 walled-in area. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 not a big enough area, so we'll build it over on this side here. Um, kind of just trying to, at one point I was trying to confine things to this area over here and, well, we kind of exceeded that pretty quick. I've got a kelp farm, I've got a sugar cane farm, we have manual vegetable farms because I've been lazy and haven't built the automated ones. I'll make it happen someday, it, it is what it is. I need to make and automate this. Again, it, it'll happen. We uh, we spent a great deal of time, and I'll show that to you since you guys are just now getting here to see this. Ah, no, I fell in the water. I can't swim. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. We'll take a look at the huge, big project. We actually we're, we're close enough to being finished that we can call it finished. Could just do this. No, bad gas, bad. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, so this is a guardian farm. For those that are not Minecrafters, this farm spawns these annoying green fish looking things. They are a pain in the ass because they attack you with laser beams. And uh, they drop some really cool stuff. Uh, prismarine crystals, prismarine shards, and fish. Because why not? Fish is good, right? Um, I've got it all set up to where there are three separate kill chambers and it sends all the items over to this direction here, which diverts them Get back out of the water. Up into our item sorter here. As you can sort of see, maybe, possibly. Hopefully. And then as I have time or the want, then we can come over here and we can pull out items out of the chests and craft them into really cool blocks like the sea lanterns, the prismarine blocks, and things of that nature. But this was the... Uh, the latest big project we've more or less completed. Really the only things that I need to do now is make this look pretty, build an iron farm, bring in some villagers for trading, and I want to build a tower going up high so the area slash radius of spawnables reduces to what's just inside the tank here that I'll show you guys. As you can see, I've got sections walled off because uh, well, it doesn't really matter if they spawn in this area. They don't get pushed up like they do in these sections here. This here's that brown stuff is uh, called soul sand, and when it's underwater, it causes bubble columns to spawn, and it just forces items, enemies, mobs of any kind to just go upwards. Which, in this case, it forces them, guardians, to drop off into the kill chambers there. Items collected. Life is good. They're bouncing around in there. Oh, pains in the asses that they are. So don't worry. This, this farm is completely humane. This is exactly what they deserve. I think we're filling... Yeah, hey, we're filling up the third column already. So yeah, that's been fun. Cat, why are you rubbing on my leg? I don't like you. No, I do not like you. You bit. Well, actually, you used your claws and tore the crap out of my hand. No. 
I'm gonna knock you out. That big old fish just knock you out. And low kitty. Midnight says hi. I don't know what happened. He got feisty earlier. I was just petting him, and then he, like, curled around and grabbed my hand. All right. From now on, I'll say thank you to Barbados by showing that I have the freedom to blow up as many fish as I want. <laughs> Love Clee. With the bunny? No, he just... He spun around, grabbed it with his front paws, and, like, drugged down. Like, he was going in for some kind of kill or something. <clears throat> No bunny kicks on this one. Yeah, Cat went in for the kills. Like, fuck you. We're killing you. He used to be quite the aggressor, especially when it comes to uh, mice. He is a hardcore hunter. Is it still out here? Yeah. Yeah. Hell with you. We're getting out of there. Whee! Love me a feisty kitty? Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes I just want a big old cuddle bug that would let me love him. But no. Instead, this one's just really, really stinky. And of course, we got cats in Minecraft. Those that don't play Minecraft, you've got cats. Lots of cats. All kinds of kitties. Think I have a dog somewhere? I'm not sure if I've collected any dogs in this game yet. Friend has a black kitty too called Lucifer. On a heavy duty glove and let him go crazy. Ah. Midnight, for the most part, doesn't get too aggressive towards me, but... I don't know. Maybe I've just not been paying enough attention to his sorry butt. He uh, he he got me pretty decent. Bad enough that I it kept bleeding. I had to put a band aid on it. Little butthead. Yeah, you you are a butthead. Don't be cute. It ain't gonna save you. Yes, so they can go ham on me and still love them. Oh, I still love my dork of a cat, too. He knows that. Don't mean I ain't gonna threaten him a little bit. Kick your ass. I'm gonna bite you. I probably do deserve it a little bit, because I capture his tail often, and... I grab at his paws, play with his toe beams without his permission. <laughs> he don't like that at all. He gets really bitey on those days. Okay, so we need to build 15 blocks this way, I think. Do I need to go any higher, though? So I want our chest to be here. Forbidden belly rubs a, a true gotcha at 50-50. Exactly. <laughs> he don't get too pushy about that towards me too often. But he does... Uh, he will let you know pretty quick when he's done with that. Alright, so if I do that, then... Oh, I don't have any stairs. That's a shame. We'll have to build some. Alright. Uh, do that. We'll throw in the towel. Oh, wait. If we do it this way, I can make it look like a dice. Haha. -ha. Victory is mine. <clears throat> So what other games are you playing these days, Shiro? 
Um, I know at one point, or at least I remember coming into one of your streams and you had Final Fantasy VII going. How far along are they to uh, catching up with the main story? I guess my question would be a little bit of everything still doing rebirth still laid off stream and such but I'm delving into the Yakuza series I have watched friends play the Yakuza series and honestly I kind of wanted to play it myself but I already have too many video games going that uh, I just don't have time Just stay up there. <clears throat> so I want to share the most amazing franchise. It's heartbreaking, comical, <laughs> bonkers. With... <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Like I said, I I've seen a few friends play the games. They're fun. <clears throat> I got a few good laughs out of it for sure. Forgot my ice. There it is. <clears throat> At one point, I was going to play through the entire Final Fantasy series, 1 through 12, I think. But I got distracted by Genshin, so I turned that into my primary RPG game. And I've not really regretted it too much. I continue to enjoy it. Though... Sweep my backlog under a rug, but I still have Genshin or Grand Blue Fantasy Relink to play, and I also need to finish Sumeru. I my last run in with Genshin was two weeks ago. I got through the main aspect of Fontaine. I'm trying really hard not to spoil anything, but we discovered the secret of the Hydro Archon. And needless to say, I had to end stream very quickly because it, that, that just, no, that was, uh, that was not okay. That was really, really not okay. Stories hit hard of the known to cry. Oh my gosh, yes, it was so bad. I'm like, why? Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to her? I mean, she isn't my most favoritist character, Fiorina, but I do want to protect her. She's one of those types of characters. You just gotta protect. And, like, why? Why, why would you do that? Can we, like, not break everybody's hearts? Because, damn. Alright. Well, that gets me there. That there, that there. Alright, so we have this. Gotta remember exactly how I did this. Wait, did I build this big enough? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I did not. And I did not build it deep enough, so we're done. We done screwed up, A.A. Ron. Oh, 
people have quite sad backstories. Yeah, they do. It's true. But like, hers is. Gonna learn today. I don't wanna. Didn't wanna then either. It was just hers in particular. My God, why? Hello there, Egan. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. Ah, give me that. Give me that. Give it. Give it. Give it. How's Egan today? No. Oh, man. They're all there. There we go. That looks better. What you making? We are working on a cactus farm. I figured it's high time we get around to actually making one. Um, I did not grab any of my sea lanterns. Yeah, for the most part, I mean, like, the Shogun story, which you sounds like you're well past that one. Yeah, that was kind of sad. She got too focused on something that ultimately was going to be counterintuitive for her. But she was saved, and she was savable. Our drunken bard, he... I really honestly did not sympathize with him. I guess it just came down to the fact that I was not really a fan of that character, so it didn't really bother me that much. Sumeru. She is so adorable. Like, she just needs to be protected at maximum. Full-time guards, the whole kit and caboodle, because she is the cutest Archon. She was sad and saved. And the overall story of her and what happened before was extremely sad, but nothing hit like Fiorina did. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You said you got the fire, mommy. Are you talking about uh, the latest one, known as Father? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. Because if so, I may have spent a little money myself and made sure to have acquired her. <laughs> Maybe, possibly, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna... <laughs> I don't know if I can confirm or deny that. <clears throat> All right, so this should hook us up with stuff. About the right size. You're all right, but bored. Well, you're in the right place to hopefully become not bored. Whether that's picking on me or passing along ideas on what you think we're working on or any of that fun stuff. Two, three. Oh, we got a big area to cover. Four, five, six, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, uh, we ran out of torches. That makes sense. <clears throat> Yeah, earlier I mentioned that last week was pretty rough. The, uh, where I work at is part store. Best part store, you know, ever to be available. Napa Auto Parts. But we had so much product roll through the doors. 
I think between what we got last week and then what we got up to yesterday, I processed like 30 skins of product. I would really like no more product to come through for a few days. Mostly because I've got, like, a dozen other things that need to be accomplished, and I really don't have time for more stuff to be rolling through. I, I really just need to get this other stuff done. No pallets. No permissions. And right now I'm in inventory reclass, which means we're sending back old stuff we haven't sold. Needless to say, trying to find some of that is not fun. Hello there, Lilo. How are you? Scared the crap out of me with that one. Good job. Thank you for the redemption. Oh, I think we got plenty of blocks for the moment. Come on. Now, I built this on the Chemitech server. I'm trying to remember exactly how I got the water to go so far. I think I stepped it in the back. think. Possibly. Try not to think too hard, though. Thinking is just not fun. Alright, let me do a lease. We got a lease. Need water. Foisty. If I do one, two, three, four, five, and then place a water source here, does that get it all the way down there? Ooh, so close. Okay. We just need to do this. I should go grab another bucket or two. Ba -doom, ba -doom, ba -doom. So what's everybody else up to for the rest of your guys' evening? Hopefully y'all are having yourselves a good time. Some of you, like Shiro, I'm pretty sure you're, you're in a place where it's like really late for you, isn't it? Like two in the morning or something? How you're still awake is impressive, friend. Sorting the flashlight collection? Hmm. Good to know I'm not the only one that collects flashlights. <laughs> I've got some blue points. I think they're no. Uh, I don't have it up here with me right at the moment. But one of my favorite ones that I got is from Light and Carry. It's so bright. Oops, I'm sorry. I got a couple of Milwaukee ones here. One in my bedroom.
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Toss that there, go across, toss that there. Good enough. Okay, so we know we can go seven blocks. If we do it from. It has to be like this. We'll start with this level of it. Back to Age of Empires. Once upon a time, we was having a lot of fun with that. I thought. Okay, so we need to go out. Two more blocks, like so. That'll put water out to yonder. Okay. There we go, infinite water source. Don't ask how it works, it's Minecraft. Most of mine are O lights to have all the colorways of the lights, right? Yeah. In my case, I just kept finding more and more cool flashlights, so I kept buying more. <laughs> I got some that's rechargeable, some that's not. helps create water paths so if items do get pulled down and they're like more likely to uh, get picked up I think hmm. test that theory we may end up having to dry this out this may not work like I expected it to uh, H Some with black light. I don't have any black lights. Let's see if that works now. We'll work it from this angle and see. Alright, well, kind of looks like items are flowing the way they're supposed to. Uh, I 
I'm kind of thinking, and I try not to do that too much, guys, because I don't really want to hurt myself. Well, that's going to go just fine. Um, 9.30, yeah, we can go one more. I believe I have the energy for one more round. Alright, so, what we need to do... <clears throat> is I need some glass so I can build the wall up a bit higher, which I think that's over here, yes. Let me get rid of some of the sandstone stuff. Chests. I'm gonna leave hoppers in there for the moment. Empty out the pockets, make some room. Oh, that's just sand. Okay. Well, we will need sand eventually, but not at this very second. Glass. Talking about games we stream earlier, there was one in particular that I was really wanting to stream. But I've been so far unable to figure out how to get it to work. And it's, uh, it was a game called uh, Star Wars Dark Forces 2 and Mysteries of the Sith. So desperately want to stream those because those were literally my favorite games growing up. In the PC era, anyway. Take it on up this next level here. We have to uh, keep in mind that when they pop off, there's a chance that uh, excuse you, you're in the way for items to fall down in the place we don't want them to go. Let's see, so all the way to this point, and then all the way to that point. Okay works. I'm just, so far this isn't interfering with anything. I'm hoping that when I start planting cactus they don't start spawning on cactus. What are you building here? I am building a cactus farm. When we get done, these little guys will be set up on little platforms and when they try to grow, they will hit the, uh, fence posts that I will be using to make them break and we'll be automatically receiving delicious tasty cactus. Alright, so um, first part be here. No, we don't want that. fix the water source. There we go. Water in Minecraft is one of the trickiest things. I know River I can attest to that. I'm sure you've had your run-in with, especially in your, uh, uh, da, 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 whatever you call it. Oh. 
Ouch. I think we need to go out to this point. Watch Avatar The Legend of Aang. Oh, yes I did. That was a favorite. Absolutely love and adore that American anime. Not really a cartoon. It's not really an anime. But it is. I don't think I need this one. Not the blue weird guys. <laughs> exactly. I watched some clips of that movie and I just... I'm one of those that I don't understand the hype. It does not seem that good. Why are we spending time, money, and effort working on that when we could be doing other things? Oh, Sokka and his cap cactus juice, exactly. Sokka, I think, was one of my favorite characters. He, he was kind of like Krillin in Dragon Ball Z in Dragon Ball Super. Completely outclassed compared to all the people with the special force powers and all that fun stuff. But never, ever did he stop and like, well, no, I'm not joining this battle because they're stronger than me. He got in there and he threw down. Almost done. Well, this part. Okay. Um, okay, so now we need to place... I so don't have enough cactus for this. Oops. Okay, where's my sand? There we go. You know, I had some really good supper, and I'm already hungry. That was only two hours ago. How dare my body require sustenance already? Netflix suck is not beautiful like he is in the cartoon, but the show is still awesome. I have not watched the show, not because of anything that was done wrong with the show that I already know of. Mostly because I just don't support Netflix. I'm not somebody that does streaming services. I have considered, once it's out on DVD, Blu-ray, to pick it up. Maybe out of the bargain bin. But, uh, it just it didn't cut it for me. Oops. That was a bad jump. I had heard about the fact that they did not follow through with Sokka's character development, and everybody's like, oh, that, he's just too sexist. Not realizing him not being sexist by the end was character growth. And that, that part kind of frustrates me. I mean, Sokka was sexist as hell in the beginning. Like, dude, tone it down. But in its own little way, it was endearing. In its own little way, it was a marker slash milestone you got to see of him. And then by the end of the series, you see him grow as a man. And the fact that the, the TV show intentionally took that away from him is a bit on the frustrating side. Let's 
Let's see, do I have any? I got three oak fences. Really? Um, okay then, well, we'll just do this. We'll grab some of this, and we'll go make some more oak fences. Not intending to go floating under the water. Okay, oak fence. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Okay, so what I need to do is go legatees. And for however long we can reach doing this. Actually, we should be able to just jump up here. It's not a problem. Oh. <clears throat> now, for those that are not crafters and miners, um, first you don't you don't want to drown. That's not the name of the game. This is an automatic uh, cactus farm where when the cactus decides it wants to grow a level, it'll see this, and since cactus can't grow next to anything, it will automatically break. We hope that it lands in the water to be pushed off and to be stored. That's, that's the hope. develops he was abandoned as the only man to protect the village he'd be lost in the beginning removing that part removed his personality I agree also my spine just made some really awesome popping noises okay so we can do actually I wanted to do that That one fall down there. I think it made it into the water. But again, it's like I said, the, the effects that I've seen used on that show we're top notch. I, I give them proper credit for that. It's a lot like the Halo TV series. They did great displaying the monsters. They did great with the the uh, enemy firepower. They just failed so bad at everything else. Okay, so we have one here that takes from this one. And then this one, okay, we need one to go from here. We've certainly lost a few of those fence posts to damage from the cactus. But that's fine. So far, this does not seem to be affecting this at all. This was kind of a test. I wasn't sure how far down below I could build and have platforms and stuff and them not spawn down here. But so far, they're just spawning up there, so I think we're going to be fine. So the only thing we're really missing is this one. Wow, I'm getting jumpy because him falling into the lava like that scared the absolute crap out of me. <laughs> 
Uh, my brain is going zzzz. It is sawing the logs. I did at least get one major point done at work today that needed to happen for, especially for the reclassing thing that I talked about earlier. So, I, I do have that under my cap now. Um, the next phase is I have to bring down all the stuff that we couldn't sell and uh, get that registered and checked in with computer system and it's just a whole bunch of not fun stuff. But we'll get it. We'll get it figured out. We'll get it taken care of. I really want to get back to my inventory fixing thing that I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, we got plenty of glass. All right. I'm going to go ahead and send this around the corner. memory serves these pain in the butt uh, cactus can pop upwards so I may have to add yet one more layer to this going to bed hope you have a good night enjoy your game thank you for stopping by friend hopefully you have wonderful sleeps and this is the wish and hope of us all I'm sure Yes, okay. Well, now we basically just need to wait and see. Um, actually, can... Oops. Can I make it over there? Nice. All right, so... To cheat a little bit. We're just going to sneak over here and grab some more cactus so we can finish filling things up. I mean, this area has been loading for quite a while. Oh, I'm gonna say, where the hell's my shovel? I just wanted to knock you into the lava. That's a bunny. We don't want to mess with the bunny. He's a little buddy. Wait, there you are. There we go. Alright, let's go pick up some more cactus. Oh, God. I was not expecting that. Let's keep that from being a spawn trap, shall we? Let's see, we got 15, we need to grab some more. Try that. See where that gets us. Ugh. Whee! I believe I can fly. And crash. Fly, yes. Land, no. <laughs> I need to go and watch all those older movies again. I miss Indiana Jones. We're jonesing for it. Wink. 
No! So they did ultimately spawn. Oh, wait. Fix this issue. Dang it, we're missing it by five or six. Nothing has spawned yet in terms of those. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's go cut down a couple more cactus. Ow, that hurt. I guess what we'll have to do is slabs. Dang, I cannot get myself forced up there. Ah, will not work. Here, we'll at least get can't put blocks there. Okay. Bump him into... One way to take care of it, I guess. He takes so long to pop against that. Wait, did we seriously get... Hey, let's go. And we're already getting our first cactus. That's not what I wanted you to do at all. Goodbye. Alright, so in order to keep that from being a thing again, we'll have to uh, encapsulate the entirety of this thing in glass. Which is fine. I, I don't mind that. Oh wait, we can actually lower this down one block.
Yes, yes, you are very noisy there, Zomberbutt. But we don't care. You're trapped in there with them. Or maybe you... They are trapped in there with you. It's hard to say. Looks like it is currently falling into the right spot now. But I don't, like I said, I don't want to uh, have a repeat here. When I was on the uh, Chemitech server that I played on, I would uh, build pretty substantially large versions of this. For the most part, just kind of going up real high, and it would produce so much cactus. But ultimately, no real reason for it. Just not the money-grubbing adult that I once was. <laughs> no real reason for it. It is good to uh, use in... Uh, <clears throat> oh... Furnaces. So if you burn a whole bunch of this in furnaces and then you manually take it out at some point, you uh, get a whole lot of experience points. <clears throat> Help you really quick uh, rebuild your, your armor and tools... Another thing I lost to a cactus. Who took my torch, man? Who took my torch? <clears throat> ah, missed one. It's fine. It's fine. We'll be good. We can get it from here. You know, this is something that was missing on the Chemitech server, the latest version of it. I never did bother to put any protection over the top of the farm. So a player could just easily fall into it or fall into a cactus and take a bunch of damage. A bunch of this. Ah, oh, we still got a couple stacks left. We're good. We're fine. I'm not sure yet how I want to do the front of this, but we'll have to do that too. No! I missed it. Almost done. Painfully annoying thing here. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Eh, at least we didn't lose that one to the cactus. Alright. Almost there. Wait, I never started the next stream raiders up. <laughs> oh my, I am so sorry. Let me finish this up and we'll probably call it at that point anyway. It's 10 o'clock. So, uh, let, let me get this done. I am clearly not in my, uh, prime mental aspect of streaming, because T.I. Freak be very tired. <clears throat> Let's see. Throw these around. I have no real intentions on coming back in here. Do, 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 do. 
Now, if there's anything you're curious about Minecraft-wise, for those that do not play, feel free to ask questions for the last few minutes that we're here. I will be happy to uh, divulge whatever information I might be able to. I am by no means a Minecraft guru, <clears throat> but I know my fair share and bit of Minecraft functions and aspects and such. Kind of don't like that, and I kind of want to just go ahead and complete this the rest of the way. Oh, crap. I'm looking at the wrong thing. <clears throat> Okay, we're not gonna put a hole in freaking <clears throat> everything here. <clears throat> All right. So, technically speaking, nothing else should spawn inside there. Let me get rid of this. Mess is clean. No, it is not. Get rid of that. And yeah, our farm is already producing now, so that's kind of nice. Uh, it will, of course, take a while to get going. And there's... <sighs> Cactus is one of those things that every so many ticks of the game's process, it has a chance to grow. So this level of farm, it's going to take a good while to fill up this double chest, and that is completely fine. We, we don't need anything super amazing, super special. Hello, Tigressa. How are you doing this evening, friend? Hopefully the day, the evening is treating you well. Uh, let me get that put away. Let me put away some of the stuff that I have no need for right now. I'm pretty sure I just put sand in here. There it is. Wait, I'm, did I not put more sand? Was that all the sand I put in there? Okay, that's fine glass, the last little bit of it. I've had a funky throat feeling all day. I think that's going around personally. Because I was doing some... Oh, I was getting parts. And uh, all of a sudden I had a piece of something on my throat and I could not shake it. I lost my voice completely. It was not fun. <sighs> But, uh, you know, drank a bunch of water, pulled through a little bit. Personally, I think uh, sinuses or allergies are finally kicking in. Gonna get my butt kicked here soon. Allergies, yeah. <clears throat> Everybody's getting them hit with them especially hard this season, so... Do what you can to uh, beat it up if you can. Alright, I ain't worried about that. But, uh, thank you, friends, for hanging out with me. I am sorry we had a few glitches, as it were, and I realize now I did not get this finished up as I need to go around and put a skirt around this. But it is not important. The important thing is, is we have a working cactus farm now, and that, that's it. That's, that's exactly what is important. Um, oh yeah, let me go ahead and finish giving River Eye their stuff. Okay, nothing new there. Let's check the store one more time because it refreshed. Ooh, Lancer Scrolls are nice. Musketeer Scrolls are important. Berserker, more Lancer, more Saint. Burning that gold up, but that's okay. Let me take a look and see who we have streaming we can raid into this evening. I see a pandu, a large nap, a mincy, mincy moon. Actually, it's Mincy's birthday stream, so let's go say hello. Hopefully she's uh, not too shook up from the storms rolling through her area. Uh, let me get a raid message up there. I'm sorry for the, uh, I mean, it's not exactly a shortened stream, but we could have went longer if I'd have got my butt in gear a little sooner. That's my bad, and I'm terribly sorry about that. Read Mincy Moon. 
Okay. Oh, big stretch! It is definitely sleepy time for me. 10.30 of an evening, I think. No, 10.12. Late enough, I have... I got a 6 o'clock wake up, so you know what that means. Gotta, gotta try an adult and actually go to bed at a reasonable time. It never works. And, uh, you know, just, just do the adulting things. But I want to say thank you, friends, so much for hanging out with me as we did the comfy Minecraft stuff. Um, thank you so much, uh, Shiro, for your raid. I am so happy you was able to bring your community here. I, I did my best to uh, take care of them and entertain you, friends. Hope you uh, stick around as we go say hello to the Mincy Moon. It is her birthday stream. Please stick around and wish her a happy Mincy birthday. And uh, we should be back Friday, and hopefully we'll be able to tackle something new in one of my other mini-games. Until next time, friends, stay safe out there. See you later.